Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland at JSA. Joining me today is Greg Elliott, Vice President of Business Development at 1623 Farnham. Greg, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Laura. If you could, let's start off by having you explain your, your focus and your responsibilities at 1623 Farnham. Sure, that's great. I uh, Thanks for having us. And um, it's, it's week four at 1623 Farnham. Uh, so it's been a blast getting to know the, the local team. They're doing amazing things as well as the, the ownership and the Burks group and, and the Bradley family. And really just talking, digging in, talking to existing customers uh, and, and meeting uh, new customers, new partners, and, and just getting back into into this world, which I love. And the building, I've, I've been familiar with the building for years, um, back from my 1102 grand days when we built that facility in, in Kansas City. And it's, you know, 1623 Farno has been the de facto carrier hotel for, for years, uh, just because the long haul fiber landed there, fiber was built out through the metro. It just naturally uh, aggregated from that point. And when the, the Burks Group bought the building two years ago, um, obviously they knew that, but uh, putting 40 million, four zero into the building to make it and then take it the next step to a proper edge data center facility is, is really impressive. And, and the things that I love about the building, um, it's, it has a care neutral uh, building owned meet me room on the third floor. Uh, super important and, and we're always trying to grow that ecosystem. Um, we have uh, the Omaha IX, the internet exchange, so that's a great amenity for, for the facility and for the region. Uh, the added bonus is having all the hyperscaler data centers in, in Iowa, Nebraska, and just being the proximity, being close to those facilities help us out, help grow the ecosystem within the building. And then adding uh, next-gen carriers like Megaport, uh, which we, we just, just announced was just super exciting for us and, and our customers. Let's talk about uh, Megaport. It is very exciting. Uh, I understand they're deploying a node at, uh, at your Edge Data Center. So tell us more. Yeah, you bet. It's, it's, it's really, I mentioned next-gen carrier. And so, so immediately when, when Megaports turned up in, in our facility, our customers, our carriers, our content providers are gonna have access into a global network, so the, the Megaport platform. So over 350 service providers, like Instant Connections to AWS and SAP and Dell and, and IBM and Oracle and down the list, just gives gives any customer at 1623 Farnham to connect into that infrastructure uh, connections globally. So as as a, a business is thinking about digital transformation or or anything like that, it just gives them the ability to to have that scalability and flexibility to connect into all those services as they need them. And that's really the goal of you know, what we're trying to do with the, the carrier neutral, content neutral meet me room is to give our customers the maximum amount of connections for, to, to help them succeed. And that's really what it's all about. So that's, it's exciting. It's exciting to have Megaport and all the other awesome things in the meet me room. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the Megaport deployment is unique uh, with a dual router switch configuration. So how does that then give 1623 clients an advantage in the marketplace? Yeah, so it's a, it's a unique deployment um, for, the, for the Midwest is my understanding. And so you mentioned the, the dual router, dual switch, and it just gives our customers an additional layer of redundancy or diversity um, to protect their um, workloads if they're mission critical workloads, it just gives them the availability, uh, the, the ability to um, to have that additional redundancy. So that's that's a huge thing for for Omaha and really the region. Huge benefit for sure. Yeah. So, what type of customers or growth are you seeing at the data center as of late? Yeah. So, in my short time, um, I've seen the things that I've seen are are amazing. So we're seeing high count fibers, uh, 
fiber routes being built into the facility. Everything from new fiber, high count fiber uh, met, metro builds um, to uh, middle mile to there's a, a long haul route that is is coming through the building as well. So that's that's going to create a ton of opportunities um, in in the area. So that's that's excellent. And then past the fiber, which is which is super super important. Um, we're seeing enterprise cloud companies that are taking down space with us um, just because of the proximity to other cloud providers in the area. They want direct connectivity um, into those sourcing so that activity, uh, content providers, um, and, and really other businesses that, that want to connect to all those carriers and services in one spot. So just tons of growth, tons of opportunity, and, and just really excited to be, be at 1623 Farnham. It's great to watch the journey and, and the, the growth there at uh, 1623 Farnham. So, Greg, as we start to wrap up, do you have anything else you'd like to add and, and share with our viewers? Oh, you know, it's, um, I would just say if, if you're in the Midwest, you're in Omaha, feel free to reach out to me at any point, And we would love to show you around the building, show you what we've been up to, show you what we're building, and um, just show it off. So that, that would be the, the last thing that I'd add. Okay, well, you can go see him in person for sure. That sounds like a great tour. Uh, stop by, see Greg and the team. And But what about online? Where can our viewers go maybe online to check out the latest happenings? Sure, all, all of our socials, 1623 Farnham, and then the, the awesome new website that JSA helped us with. Um, and so that's 1623farnham.com. Um, or you can email me directly, greg.elliot at 1623farnham.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Greg, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking.